couldn't praise him, I would have lost my mind. God be the glory. Sometimes that's the only place I can find peace is in my praise. Everything else is crazy around me, but when I can get in that praise zone. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. To you be glory. To you be glory. Y'all have to excuse me. Sometimes I have to praise until I feel better. <laughs> Jesus. By the way, praise looks good on you. <laughs> oh, when you're trying to be cute, that's ugly. But praise looks good on you. <laughs> Tell you neighbor, you're looking good about now, man. You're looking good about now. You're looking good about now. <laughs> good morning. Unless you'd like to invite your attention to 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2, we'll go back to our expository teaching through the book of Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2. Me, I'm in the ocean. Good precious in life. You praise Bruce and the wax in my ears, I feel it. Down in my toe jams, I feel praise. Hair in my ears want to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My neighbor want to give God praise. My pinky toe want to bless his name. Goodness, to God be glory. To God be the Lord. We yield to your spirit right now. We yield to your spirit right now. We yield to your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord. I just prophesy something in the atmosphere over your head. Oh God, oh God. Something in the atmosphere over your head is broken. That which you had on the altar, God is about to respond to it. That which you had on the altar, God is about to respond to it. I prophesy breakthrough. The devil can no longer hold it hostage. He can no longer hold you hostage. But so there's a miracle in the atmosphere this morning. That we give God praise. Mm. That we give God praise. That we give God praise. Oh, Jesus. Oh. that you're connected with a church where the word is going forth. Amen. The criteria, if you move and you leave, you're going somewhere to, to, to try to figure out where you're going to do church at, then one of the greatest decisions that you can make after you get saved is where you attend church. Amen. And if you get ready to go somewhere and attend church, don't you rap by the church and go, ooh, that's a pretty parking lot. I think I'm going to join that church. <laughs> Come on, y'all ain't talking to me. Don't you go to talk, ooh, I went in there to foyer. you. There was a pretty foyer. you. Did you see that chandelier? Down on join this church. <laughs> Don't you go in there talk, ooh, child, I ain't never seen no purple carpet like that before. <laughs> Jesus, that was the prettiest purple carpet. That's where I'm going to make my church home. Let me push it even further. Music and choir is good, but don't you listen to the choir? I'm a child, they got a good choir. I'm going to join that church. Y'all ain't liking me right now, man. Y'all ain't liking me right now. <laughs> the criteria needs to be what kind of word is going for. Is the word of God 
being preached there. Because if the word of God is not being preached, then I'm not going to be able to mix my faith with nothing. And if I can't mix my faith with nothing, it's going to affect my living. Because we live by the words of God. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. If ain't no word going on, it's going to help in my life. My quality of life is based on the word that I receive. Got it? My quality of life is based on the word that I receive. Wow. So you better listen to all the other stuff, but you better listen at the preaching. Let me see if the word is going on. You better bring me a Bible. And if somebody get up and and they read a scripture and they start talking about stuff Come on, that wasn't in what you read. Yeah. <laughs> you with me? Somebody in there preaching, man, and they just preaching. Ah! Watch this. It effectually worketh in those that believe. It does not work in those that don't believe. The energy is released. The light is switched on by your and my belief. I put my confidence in it. This is the word of God. And because it is the word of God, I put my confidence in it. And those who put their confidence in it, the power is released. It effectually worketh, effectually, one, one little thing, time to watch. It effectually worketh in those that believe. That is in, when you look at the Greek structure, that is in what's called the present, 
Uh, it's, it's a present perfect sense. It deals with a continuing action. It's not a one-time shot. It effectually worketh in those who keep on believing in it. I believe in it. I believe in the Word of God. And because I believe in the Word of God, it's going to be released in me. If I don't believe it, it ain't going to be released. In me. But if I if I believe, watch faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. I, I need to stay in this atmosphere because I'm gonna keep on believing it. I'm gonna keep on trusting it. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose yeah. mind is stayed on thee. Now, Lord, they told me I'm losing my mind, but your word says that thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Lord, I'm thinking about you in the morning. I'm thinking about you at noon. And your word says this. So somebody might be saying something else, but because you keep on believing in the word, you keep on, now watch this, in the right sense, you keep on confessing the word. You keep on claiming the word. This yeah. is what God says. I am what the Lord says I am. I can have what the Lord says I can have. I can do what the Lord says I can do. And I'll keep on believing. I'll believe in it to the day I die. I'm a winner and not a loser. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. I'll keep on believing it even when I'm down. I'm down on the ground. I can't I'm the, you knock me down. I'm the head. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. The Lord is my wisdom, my power. I'm down, but I'll keep on Doesn't matter what's going on, I'm going to keep on saying it. Yes. Amen. It effectually worketh in those who believe. So it's not about always. One, I want to make sure that the solid word is going on. But then I got to make sure that I bring my sugar. Yes. Amen. There's power in it. It is set in operation in us. It's wired. The word is already wired. And it takes us flipping the switch. All right. So my response. That's one. Watch this. That's one. So we'll, we'll look at it the next time. Watch. He's going to talk about our response to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to give the next portion our response to suffering. Mm -hmm. And then how we should respond to satanic attack. Mm -hmm. Paul says, I'm grateful for the church of Thessalonica because of the way they receive the word of God. Yes, yes. Let that help to change and shape our lives when you come into the house of God. When you come in here, man, and the word of God is going forth, let that claim your attention. Yes. I'll pass you a note next week. All right. And I'll tell you what I need to tell you after church. Yes. Right. Y'all ain't talking to me. Yes. We put that in our kids and we put that in everybody that the word of God is Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you for the patience of your people, man. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord. You're my strength. And you are my redeemer. In Jesus' name. Amen.